Hi, welcome to Chris's Clock Shop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put the numbers back on your dial if they fall off. It's very common if you're taking a dial off or if you bend it, um, these numbers can pop off pretty easily. So the solution is very simple. We're going to super glue them back on, but I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to do that uh, where you can put them on without having to worry about um, putting too much glue on and making sure you get them in the right position. Okay, so let's get started. Also, if you like this video, please make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you leave a comment letting me know what kind of videos you wanna see or what aspect of a repair you'd like me to do, I can use that in future videos and it gives me good ideas for the content you guys wanna see. All right, so let me know. An easy way to re-glue the numbers back on the dial of your grandfather clock if they pop off. It is not uncommon when removing a grandfather clock dial or movement from the case that if the dial itself flexes at all, these numbers can pop off. And um, in fact, I'll show you here. We got quite a few numbers to glue on here. And basically what you'll need is some super glue, your numbers, of course, and some masking tape. So I've already um, prepared one number. I'll show you here. What I've done is I position the number, okay, I position the number where it needs to go. So I would use the remains of the former glue that was there to position the number. And then when this is laying flat on my bench, I'll put a long piece of masking tape carefully over it to cover both the top and the bottom of it. And then what I'm gonna do is, I will remove the masking tape Put a few drops of super glue, not too much because I don't want it to bleed outside the number. And then we'll just use the masking tape, put it right back and then press it on real good and let that hold for, you know, 20, 30 seconds. And then when it's good and dry, I'd hold the number while I begin to remove the masking tape and it will position itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'll put some super glue on this note card, okay? And then I'll use a toothpick to grab some of the glue and put it on the number so I don't get too much glue on there because this glue, you know, I got a nice big glob there. I don't want a big glob because it'll spill over beyond the number. And once you get that on the dial, you're not really uh, gonna get that off. Not easily that I'm aware of. So I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit here. I don't want too much in any one position. And then I'm just gonna put that down. Apply a little pressure here. Now, if you want, you can take like your block or something. Sometimes I'll do that. Put it on the number. Give it a little more downward pressure for a few seconds. Okay, now just wait just uh, just a little bit. Super glue dries really fast. Now I'm going to hold down the number, pull back the tape. And voila. I've got a one glued back. Okay. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You know, uh, 
back in the old days, I used to put the glue on the back of the number, then turn it over and hold it with a pair of tweezers and try to drop it just right. And uh, boy, did I make a lot of mess of those. So this is an easy way uh, to get your numbers in the correct position with uh, minimal um, chance for error. So hopefully that's helpful to you. I'm going to go ahead and finish all these numbers and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so I'm putting on my last number here, putting a little glue on my note card, close the cap on my glue, okay, grab my toothpick, put a little glue on it, pull my number back, okay, put a little glue Couple different spots and then when I don't have very much glue on my toothpick anymore I'm gonna spread it around a bit okay but not too much I'm just gonna put that back down let the tape secure it for a minute put some downward pressure then in a minute you're gonna see all the numbers on my dial. Are securely in position. I used one piece of tape the whole time. And it took me about, I don't know, less than 10 minutes to do it. So let's see here. There she is. All the numbers back where they belong and I don't see gobs of glue sticking out from the sides of the numbers 
Okay, you can see a tiny bit of glue next to that two. All right, so that's what you want to avoid. But if that happens, you know, that's just the way it is. Unless you're going to refurbish the whole dial. You're just going to have to live with that. So that's a lesson to learn. Not to put too much glue on there so that doesn't happen. Okay, but um, that's such a small amount. You're not really going to notice unless you're like, up there inspecting so for general purposes from here it looks wonderful all right guys well hey i appreciate you watching if you like the video like it also in the comments if you let me know what you're interested in having me do in terms of a video let me know that gives me good ideas for what to make next all right thanks for watching